Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today we're talking about a really, really fun and cool glitch that's in the game of Dead by Daylight right now that actually gives Dead by Daylight its style back, but completely by accident. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So, there is a glitch in Dead by Daylight right now, a bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it, in Dead by Daylight right now, that if you are playing a teleporting killer, something like Unknown or Pinhead, uh, even Night because just the way the knight's power works if you go into the basement and you teleport straight out of the basement it for some reason applies the basement lighting to the entire map uh which is very very neat and very very cool it causes the game to actually look a lot more cool it actually makes it look dark moody and scary it's almost like dead by daylight at the very least is a horror themed game it's definitely not a horror game anymore <laughs> now that we all are moderately okay at the game nothing scary about it but it's still a horror themed game and it is the horror smash brothers so to speak of the gaming uh world so the fact that the the maps have been kind of lacking this kind of like atmosphere for a really, really long time is really frustrating and sad and it's a thing i've made videos about before uh talking about how dbd has kind of like lost its style in this uh suit of making the game more objectively good looking but as a result they're kind of erasing all the style that they had in but with this fun little bug that you could do uh it it, it just brings all that back because it erases the fog quote unquote and applies that basement lighting to the real world or the real world no, our real world our world in real life it does no to the to the whole map um i don't know it's just like with the remakes it's like the remakes make the game look better, so to speak. It makes the game more look, you know, more presentable, I guess, which helps them get more APs and stuff. But in terms of a style perspective, I have, you know, been a firm believer ever since they started doing the map remakes that while they look good, they definitely erase the style that DBD had. Maps like Cold Wind Farms being like the worst offenders because Cold Wind Farms used to be kind of this dark, dingy, uh, the sun has just gone down. Uh, rotten field not not like just the map rotten fields but like you know it's a, it's an abandoned rundown farm uh so it's like actually you know kind of atmospheric and scary to be there and you feel like the hillbilly can pop around any corner because you're in a moody dreary setting now like cold wind modern cold wind is just like <laughs> it's not even got down at it's what the game is supposed to be dead by daylight but you're just like running around out in the middle of broad daylight uh so it just feels like you're just spending a nice little evening on peepaw's farm it does not feel atmospheric does not feel immersive it does not feel um just doesn't feel really fun to play on and a lot of mats in dbd have suffered this since they got their quote-unquote map remakes um unfortunately the cold wind uh, uh glitch here doesn't do too much to really mitigate that but it does make it slightly better i'll be rolling all that over here on the left of all the maps that i did on uh from my b-roll I think the general art direction of Dead by Daylight has been mostly lifeless for a long time now. Uh, DBD used to have this very dark, dreary kind of uh, almost watercolory kind of aesthetic. If you look a lot of like the old uh, cosmetics for the default survivors before the game got uh, like the survivors got overhauled, um, but they kind of like withdrew from that. And now the game is just kind of like very generic it's very like bare bones get the job done kind of like uninspired i think would be the best word very uninspired in terms of its art direction i think there are some standout maps i think there are some maps that stand uh, aside from this like greenville square is my favorite original map uh, for this reason because the whole map is dark and in this like you know dimly lit by the moonlight uh, you got the rundown abandoned theater in the background looming over everything but it still has some functionality to it like the arcade and it's got the cool little drop the palette and you know all the machines freak out um it's just it's just cool it, it feels like an old dead by daylight map in modern dvd i know you can you know criticize it one way or another uh for its gameplay <laughs> which both sides seems to hate, uh, seem to hate greenville square for whatever reason um survivors don't like the quality of pallets and loops but killers don't like how big it is but in terms of aesthetics i think it's it, it's a near perfect dead by daylight map but it does feel evocative of old behavior uh old behavior design philosophy when it comes to actually making maps dark moody and dreary <laughs> which they just don't really do anymore which is like really sad i don't know this is not gonna be a long video today i just wanted to point out this awesome lovely glitch because it does bring some pop and some life back into the dead by daylight maps i of course in a perfect world i would love behavior to keep this glitch and just kind of use it as kind of a guiding tool 
to adjust their maps to fit <laughs> the genre that they're in more. But obviously, they're probably just going to fix it. It's probably not going to be a thing, which sucks because I would love if the maps just look like this all the time. But you guys have probably gotten this glitch. What did you think of it? Do you think it's cool and neat? And do you think, wish the maps look more like this? Or do you prefer the way that Dead by Daylight maps look right now? Let me know down in the comments below. And that, this could be it for this short video today. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out. But like I said, I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. See ya.